Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. Let's start by defining the word function. A function is a self-contained piece of code which carry out a particular task or a function. A key benefit of using function is that they are reusable. If you have tasks that need to be performed a number of time, a function is an ideal solution. They can be either defined by U or by PHP. A PHP has a rich collection of a built-in function as well. Let's see. In our last lectures, we use some kinds of print underscore R. So this is a built-in function. Then we had use variable underscore dump. So this is also a built-in function what is come with a Python library. Here in this lecture, we are totally focused on creating and defining the function and how to call the function. Before starting the lecture or before starting the coding lecture, we just need to understand that what is the function exactly and how we call the function. There is a, core, a diagrammatical example of the functions. Let's suppose we have LMS system where some kind of students are involved. Then we have the teacher as well. And we have, let's suppose, uh, administrations as well. LMS stands for Learning Management System. Okay, here you can see that this is an entire project here. So I just define this project into a small modules or a small functions right here where we have the students, then we have the teacher, then we have the admin as well. So in student, there are the lot of others function as well. And in teacher, we have the lot of other functions as well. Let's suppose the student department, student names, and let's suppose here we have the student fees records, then here the teacher designations, teacher, uh, let's suppose teacher um, subjects, what they are teaching, and the teacher salary as well and same as our case like it uh, administrations as well so here just a uh, example on this functions right here now here you will see that how we create the function in the php and how we call it let's suppose we have the function and the function here is abc so here you can see that through declare declaring the functions here firstly you have to write your function as the keyword and then you have to write your function name here so this is how you can create your function then here i just write echo and echo here is let's suppose i am just writing that welcome to function okay and here i just close this code right here so as you can see on your screen that this is called the functions definitions right here okay and here this is a simple echo statement or print statement right here now here if we create the functions or if we define the function so you can see here if i just run this function into the browser so there will be no output for that functions here okay as you can see on your screen just this is just because of when you are just calling or so when you are just creating the functions let's suppose we have the function here is abc when we create this function and we want to get some piece of the code inside this function so we have to call this functions to getting the like code of this function here you can see that i just simply write abc and here you need to call this functions right here okay now i just go to the browser refresh it so you can see here i just get this functions code right here which is welcome to the functions right here this is how you can see here Firstly, you have to create the function. Okay, then this is some piece of code what you are just creating here. And this is how you can call your function. Simply, you have to write your function name and then you have to uh, end with a semicolon sign. So, this is just a functions declaration, the functions calling in the PHP. Hope so you understand now. If you find any other problem regarding this lecture, please let me know. And thanks for watching this lecture.
Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about that how you can define your function with the parameter. User can pass the parameters to the PHP function as well. The parameters are used as the variables. They are defined like here you can see that let's suppose firstly you have to write your function's name okay uh, sorry function as a keyword then here you can write your function's name here i just write let's suppose this is the number one and here i just write this is number two so what is the number one and number two right here this number one and the number two here are the two variables what i define what i just define in a functions parameter right here okay now here you can see that let's suppose i just write num3 sorry this is num3 num3 which is equal to here i just write num1 plus i just write num2 okay and here i just write echo and then here i just write result of numbers are and then here i just write that this is num3 okay simply get num3 which is my variable here so what this num3 do firstly here that will collect the num1 value then that will collect num2 values and here you can see that when it save num3 save the value of num1 and num2 so simply we get the num3 values right here so here we have the two parameters okay and now here you can see that i just define that let's suppose here we have the values when i just calling my functions here so we have the value let's suppose six and four okay so we have the two values six which is number one and four which is number two right here okay now here when i just run this code so you will see that yes okay and you will see that we have the result of the numbers are 10 which is equal to you can see here 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10 right here hope so you understand now that how we can define the functions parameter right here and then we can get the values of that parameters right here and when i just calling this uh, this function so at that stage i just initialize the value of that function as well hope so you understand now that how this functions parameters work in a php programming language if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about the passing by the reference in our php functions or i will tell you about that how you can passing by the value in php and what is difference between that by default functions argument are passing by the value so that if the value of an arguments within the function is changed so it does not get changed outside the functions to allow a functions to modify it arguments they must be passed by the reference at there so user can pass the value as a reference to the functions let's just see how we do it here i'm just creating firstly a two well two functions which is for passing by the values and the passing by the reference here i just write function which is let's suppose abc okay here we have the functions parameter as the variable i right here now here i just write variable i and variable i which is the value here is let's suppose a php okay now here after that i just create one of the another variable let's suppose the variable here is high and which is equal to here i just write that this variable high which is equal to here i just pass the string of that let's suppose this is php and here i just write php5 okay you can see here now here i just create a two variables here which is a name of high and which is the name of i as well okay now here you will see that i just write abc and abc is my function name here so i am just calling the abc functions here and inside this functions i am just creating 
variable here which is high and I am just calling variable high and variable uh, sorry a function's name which is ABC right here okay now here you can see that when I just print this statement of the echo right here and I just want to print high here so you will see that what will be the our output now here you can see that I just run this function here so you can see here we had get we have got the PHP 5 here and it doesn't change any value right here inside this echo statement and that will simply get the PHP value right here okay now here you will see that this means that that is simply getting passing arguments by the value only just because of here it will not get the value of the i right here it will only get the value of the high what is declaring right here now here you will see that php and then closes php tag right here okay now here and firstly i have to close this and now here as well now here you can see that i just create functions function is let's suppose xyz now here the point is here that how you can pass the argument by the reference how we gave the reference here let's suppose we have the function's name which is x y z here now here firstly i will write and signature why this and signature is used right here this is just because of and signature will store your address and that will get your address of the variable right here now here is right let's suppose this is variable a here and after this variable a here i just write that a which is equal to here i just write hi or here i just write php same as a case like our old example right here okay now here i just close this code now just come to the another variable right here so here let's suppose we have the variable here is hi and the high variable or hello variable here so which is equal to here i write this is php 5 okay now here i write abc and abc here will i will get the function name uh, sorry a variable name here which is and here we have the variable name which is hello right here okay and then i just close this code right here now here when i just print this equal statement so here i will get this hello as the variable name right here now here you will see that i just pass the value by the reference this is just because of i have the address of that variable here when i just run this code right now so you will see that i will get the value here which is hey sorry which is php 5 this is show me the result this is just because of here i just call the function name which is abc right here this is slightly a mistake right here just because of here we have the functions name which is xyz now here you will see that when i just run this code so that will get the php right here you can see here firstly that will get the php5 and then that will get the php right here this is just because of now we passing the functions by the arguments sorry a function's argument by the reference okay here you can see that firstly that will store the address of that variable right here which is a variable a here then here we have the value of that variable now here you will see that we have the same value like our this code where we passing the arguments by the value now here you can see that i just call my this function's name here and then simply call this hello okay because this will get simply the storing of the address right here with the help of this and signature and then that i will print uh, sorry i will print the result of that variable right here hope so you understand now that how we pass the values by the arguments and the pass the value by the reference in a php functions if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talking about the returning values from the function 
a function can return a value back to the script that's called the function using the return statement. Let's just see how we do it in the PHP code. Let's suppose we have the PHP tag here, and after that, we have the function's name, which is ABC right here. Then we have two parameters right here, which is number one, and then we have the other parameters. Let's suppose this is the number two right here. Okay, now here we have one another uh, function's name, which is the number three here, which is equal to here. I just write number one plus here, I just write number two. Okay, now after that, here you can see that I just create the return result, which is I just get the number three right here. So I just write return statements or return as a keywords to return this number three value right here. Now here you will see that. Now here I just create one another variable. Let's suppose this is variable A and variable A which is equal to here. I just write that this is the function's name which is ABC right here. And here I just create the value which is nine and 20. Okay, here you can see that after that, I just write that echo and here I just write that the value after adding the function. Okay, so here I will get the variable a right here. Okay, and this is the variable a right here. Now you just see the output of that here. So I just run this code and you will see that. So this is the output here when we are just returning the value right here, which is 29. So here totally focused on that word, which is return number three. So here we just use the return statement inside this PHP code right here. So in PHP return keyword is used to returning the value from the functions only. Okay, hope so you understand now that how we use the return statement in a PHP programming language. If you find any of the problem regarding this lecture, please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about the default functions parameter in a PHP programming language. Or you may say that the optional parameters and getting the default value of the functions parameter. When you are designing your functions, it is often helped to be assigned the default value for the parameters that are not passed. The PHP uh, does this for most of these functions and it saves you having to pass in the parameters and most of the time if they are usually the same. Let's just see how we define that. Here I just write PHP and I just close this PHP tag right here. Okay, now here you will see. Let's suppose we have the function name and the function name here is ABC. Now here the main concept is that that how we can rewrite the defaults parameter. Let's suppose we have the variable a and a here is the value of 50. Okay. At functions parameter, I just initialize the value of a as well. Now here you will see that after that, sorry, here this is the function. And after that, I will write return statement and the inside the return statement, I have to write that let's suppose value and here I just write variable a. Okay. And I will get slash n for a single line break as well. Here you can see that after that, I just create function name ABC. Firstly, I will get the functions or I will call the functions right here. Then here I just write ABC and here I just initialize some of the other value. Let's suppose this is 10. Sorry, this is the value here is 10. Okay. Now after that here, I just write ABC and the value here is 100 as well. So this is how we just create some of the values here 
to this functions only and i will call these values at every time when we are just calling the functions right here run this code and here you can see that uh, i just didn't get these values right here yet and this is abc right here the functions name and here you will see that I just didn't get any of the value. This is just because of here. I just use a return statement. Okay. Now here, if you want to get the result of that, simply replace this with the echo and you run your code right here. Firstly that you can see that we have the empty functions call right here. No uh, means no variable is passing right here. So that will also give me the result here, which is 50. This is just because of here you can see that I just create a default parameter right here. Okay. Or you may say that this is a optional parameters, which is give us the default values. So here you can see that. Then you have seen that we have the values is 10 and then the 100 right here. You can see here 10 and 100. So you can see here that you can also define your defaults parameters or the optional parameters with the default values as well hope so you understand now that how you can get that if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about the dynamic functions called in a php in PHP, you can have the dynamic functions called. That is during the executions of your PHP scripts and you can trigger a functions called which is based on the certain inputs or the conditions which you do not know before the hand. Let's just see how we use the dynamic functions called in a PHP. Here, let's suppose we have the functions name which is Let's suppose we have a function name which is ABC right here. Okay. Here you can see that after this creating creating this function here. So this is a function. So after creating this function here, I just write echo and echo here is this is dynamic function call. Okay. Now here you can see that I'm just creating a function as the variable name here. And which is equal to here I just create or here I just write a string which is ABC right here okay now after that here you can see that I just create or I just call this variable right here hope so you understand now here I just simply create our equal statement ABC is our function name right here and here I just create a variable name which is function and which is equal to here I just call ABC so this is called the dynamic functions call here when I just run this code so you can see here the expected result here is dynamic functions call right here and I just call this function right here with the help of dynamic functions call if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about the anonymous function in a PHP programming language. The functions without the name is called the anonymous function. Anonymous functions are also known as the closures, which allow the creations of functions which have the no specified name. They are most useful as the value of the callback parameter. Let's just see how we create the anonymous functions in a PHP programming language. Let's suppose we have the variable A and variable A which is equal to the functions right here. So I just take the anonymous function with the name of the variable right here. Now here you can see that echo and I just write that this is anonymous function. Okay. Now after that here you can see that I just create or I just close with a, semi, a semicolon right here and here I just uh, create or I just call this variable right here okay here you can see 
so i just run this code and here you will see that and this is you can see this is the anonymous functions right here now you understand that how we can create the anonymous functions and how we create it and what is the anonymous functions right here hope so you understand now if you have any problem regarding with this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about the php variable scope however you can declare the variables anywhere in the php scripts the scopes refers to the visibility of the variables in other words the variables which are the part of our programs can see or you can use it normally every variable has the global scopes one it's defined every part of your programs can access the variable here in this lecture we will see that how we use it the variable scope let's just see here i just use variable scope with a function so here i just write function name which is abc right here and then here i just write we have the variable which is the name of a and a here is i just write a php programming language which is a string right here now here i just write echo and echo that will print this variable right here hope so you understand now now here you can see that i just write abc and here i will call this abc right here so this will be the output of this um, abc here which is the php right here now here you can see that i will generate some of the undefined variables which is the error right now here you can see that echo and echo here is a okay now when i just run this code right here so you will see that so we have firstly a php right here which is our output and this is our undefined variable scope right here similarly if you try to access or import an outside variable inside the functions you will get an undefined variable error you can see here okay so here you can see that this is where i just define a variable scope right here okay as you can see here in this example like uh, variables declared inside the function is not accessible from outside the functions the variables declared the outside of the function is not accessible inside the functions so these are the sum of the variable scopes in a php programming language in any programming language like this is a separations of the reduce the changes or less, sorry the chances of the variables within the functions which is getting the affected by the variables in the main program like here you can see that i just create a variable a and if you want to access this variable a outside the function so you cannot access that and if you declare this functions outside the function sorry this variable outside the function if you want to access this inside the function so you cannot access that this is called or this entire program is called a local variable scope if you set any of the variable here inside the uh, outside the functions and create this variable as the global variable so you have to access this functions anywhere so you already st studied about the global variable scope in a php programming language so no need to repeat that simply just call your concept right here hope so you understand now if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about the recursive function in php a recursive function is a function that call itself during executions this enables the functions to repeat itself several times outputting the result and the end of each iterations then in a simple words a recursive function is a function that call itself again and again until a certain condition is satisfied the common example of the recursive function is first one is a factorial and another one is tower of hanoi so here i just show you the diagrams of the towers of hanoi let's see we have some of the books right here 
okay and i just create this as a tower of hanoi some of you studied about that uh, php programming language so at that stage the tower of hanoi when you are just studying about the data structure so that is very important concept and you can study about the recursive function as well the tower of hanoi means that when you are just to transfer this and this tower into the another towers here or these all of these like uh, this tags here to another tower so here we use the recursive functions okay so this is just our diagrams of the towers of hanoi in the programming language which is a very much common example right here okay let's suppose we have some kind of values let's suppose three two and one and i just put this into the tower of hanoi then here you have to firstly write that i am just writing one here and i just shift this one into this tower then here you will see that i just shift this two into this tower then here you can see that i just shift one here into this tower so here we have two values uh, we have only one values right here and then after that here you can see that i just shift three right here okay then here i just shift one okay and here we have the two values left and then here two and one so i just completely shift my values to this tower so this is just a tower of now you study yourself now here you just come to the recursive function in the php now here in the coding example i will uh, tell you about the recursive functions and here i will take the example of the factorial numbers right here now here i will create the functions and the functions here is fact fact is you may say that this is for factorial okay now here i just use if statement so if a statement like here i just write variable n which is equal uh, which is less than zero and that will return the value of minus one which is our wrong value here okay remember that now here i just create one if a, a statement again and here i just write if n which is equal equal to zero and then here you can see that and if uh, n which is equal equal to zero right here and here you will see that i have to return one right here okay now here you can see that i just write return and here i just define the logic of factorial numbers so here i just write fact and then here i just write variable n minus one right here so i just create some of the recursive functions right here which is call itself a certain conditions is not meet right here so this is very common example what he, uh, when we are working with the recursive functions okay now here i will run this code into the browser and you can see here that the factorial of here you can see that one here of the factorial of this number here is equal to or sorry this uh, factorial of this five here which is 120 right here hope so you understand now that how we can use the recursive function in the php and what is the tower of the hanoi so i will create the article on this uh, recursive function and the tower of hanoi as well because this is a very lengthy topic and there you have to write your algorithms as well so uh, don't worry about that i will create some of the articles on that and will upload with that lecture so if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture